new here at 6 o'clock, you have probably seen the headlines by now, which claim that Boston University created a new COVID strain that has an 80% kill rate. Well, the school is making it clear tonight that it's not true, and the school is pushing back, emphasizing that the virus its researchers made is actually less dangerous. WBZ's Paula Evan is here now to break this all down for us. Paula? David, a couple of things to take note of here. Now, the school says these reports are sensationalized and taken out of context. And we actually covered the story back in 2020 when BU first got a live coronavirus sample from the first patient in Washington State. Now, at the time, researchers were trying to develop a vaccine or a treatment for COVID. In this new study, researchers in the lab created a new virus. Now, they used that original COVID strain from Wuhan and crossed it with the Omicron. On variant. Here's where things get tricky. Researchers found that their new strain killed 80% of mice compared to 100% of the mice killed that were given the original strain. Just a few moments ago, we spoke with Dr. Daniel Karitsis, an infectious disease expert from Brigham and Women's Hospital, who says these findings are important. What these results show is that it is, in fact, other parts of the virus that make Omicron less virulent than the ancestral strain. It's not the spike protein itself. So it's not like they made this monster virus. That's a complete misinterpretation. In a statement, Boston University emphasized this research is not gain of function research, meaning it did not amplify the Washington state virus strain or make it more dangerous. In a state news report, the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases says the lab did not clear the study with them, which they say it needed to do because it was government funded research. But the university tells us they were not required to do that for this study. We'll stay on this one. David? Yeah, a lot of information there. Nice job breaking it down for us. Paula, thank you.